11th and all from Tate High School. All right, can you hear me enough if I don't use that? No. <laughs> all right, it's been a while since I did the microphone thing. Um, my name is Evangeline Leventhal. As Austin mentioned, uh, we've worked together at Tate High School. Um, this is my, just finishing my sixth year um, teaching in public uh, education. In my past life, as I like to refer to it, I worked in professional sports. Um, let's see, I started with the uh, Pensacola Ice Pilots. Anybody Ice Pilots fans back in the day? Uh, now Ice Flyers, of course. Uh, I did, long story short, did hockey, basketball, uh, including 10 years of the Orlando Magic and executive management. Um, hockey, arena football, basketball, what brought me back here to Pensacola was actually to help start the Blue Wahoos baseball team. So I worked with Quint Studer there. Um, their first season got them up and running that inaugural year. And it was um, two weeks into our first homestand. My daughter, who was then seven years old, Avery, said, Mommy, really? I'm not going to see you for the next 10 days? Because <laughs> when you work in baseball, it's, what, 70 home games? And when you work, you know, you, you do everything. And you're there till like, midnight, you know, the next night. So, whew, that hit me really hard. Um, the fact that my daughter was now seven and being that, um, cognizant that I wasn't there. I could get away with this working late when, you know, she was younger, but so anyway, that, that's what got me on the path of thinking, you know, what else could I do where I can pursue passion? That's a word that Austin mentioned when he was saying, and um, I guess one of the things that's always driven me as a person is the opportunity to help other people, to drive other people, teach, coach, mentor, um, and uh, so I don't know, that's, that's what got me into teaching. And um, ever since I joined the Escambia County School District, I feel like I've joined a family. Um, from, believe it or not, Malcolm Thomas was my first contact, and then Kathy Smith, and then, you know, the Donna Harper, and then the, the, the list goes on. But I've always felt that I was a part of something special. And, you know, at the school where I work now, um, as Austin said, I have an incredible support network of teachers and administrators and, you know, just support staff that allow me to do my job, you know, to the best of my ability. And, um, you know, it's, so I, I feel it's a privilege to do what I do now. In my past life, when I, I worked in pro sports, oh, well, let's see, I, I had a six-figure income. I think now it takes me three years to make what I <laughs> made in one year back then. Um, that said, and while well, I wouldn't trade those years for anything, I would honestly tell you that today my life is more full than it's ever been. And it's because of the stories. You know, each person that's come up here has told a story about their interactions with people. And um, that's what gets me excited every day. The opportunity sometimes has nothing to do with teaching French, which is what I teach. Okay, sometimes it's just being there. You know, when a student needs someone to talk to, or just someone to, to acknowledge that they exist and that they're, they're in their, you're in their corner. So if you all are here tonight, um, yeah, that, that says a lot. You obviously have passion. Whether you realize it or not, you have passion if you're in this room right now. So what I would just ask everyone to take away with them tonight is, we can't control necessarily what happens at the top of the food chain, as I'll call it, you know, at, at the top level of government. We can't control that necessarily right here. But what we can control and what we can have a major impact on are the conversations and the things that we start in this room, okay? Each single person in here has something to offer, whether it's who you know, your, your experience, your passion, your skills, each person in here, you have something to contribute. And we need you. Such a, just a sap, I'm almost crying myself. <laughs> um, so that's what I would ask you. This, this is the start of a conversation. But it's going to take each person in this room to see it through to the end and, and have those conversations and put our heads together and make things happen. Because that's, that's, that's what's going to make a difference. 